the After Effects Lightning effect. It's a pretty popular effect. Um, it's also very easy to do. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you uh, how to do that in After Effects. Before we get to the tutorial, Again, a quick reminder, we're in giveaway November where I'm giving away a $50 gift card every single day in November. All you have to do um, for a chance to win a gift card is like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I will announce the, the winner the very next day. If it did not win, do, uh, repeat it all over with, with the next video and so on and so forth. 30 days straight in November, back to the tutorial. All right, we're here in the After Effects project, and um, this is the background image. That's a quick shot of myself, and I prepared that in, in Photoshop a little bit. If you look at the fingertips, I've added some highlights. Of course, that that uh, lightning, this, this electricity effect would um, illuminate the fingers as well because it's a very bright and hot light source, uh, usually. <laughs> so um, I added some... Uh, some uh, highlights in, in Photoshop. Of course, um, if you had more time, you would make this uh, light source layer a flicker as well. But uh, for the course of this of this uh, tutorial here, we're just to take this background image here. So we'll get started with uh, adding a solid layer. Add the solid and then apply the actual lightning effect to that to that solid under effect, generate, advanced lightning and you'll see right away um, the default will look like uh, what you would expect from a lightning effect already the effect is actually pretty straightforward so under lightning type you can set it to direction or strike these are the other two um, types that you would use most of the time direction there is this origin um of the of the of the lightning effect and the direction determines where actually to which direction the lightning is going. And this is more like the natural lightning. And if you want to have this electricity look like in, in this example between these two fingers, origin and direction will be just these two spots where um, you will see this, see this effect, okay? And as you, as you can see, it's not animating just yet. We'll get to that in a second. So origin and direction will determine the direction and, and the, the span of this effect. If you want to animate that, um, you would just um, set a keyframe here and start uh, from here and then move over and then animate that effect over a couple of frames maybe. Um, as you can see, this is a static image, but if you have a video, you can track these fingertips and then animate animate that pretty simple quick little detail when you actually animate it as you can see this forking we're going to talk about that in a second this forking will just will follow it would not stay put as you can see it, it's getting less and less and if you get closer to the origin there's actually no forking going on do you see that and when you move away then it starts to branch out and give you those nice little details that's basically the light lightning effect you have you, you you have a couple of settings here in the core settings you can um, give it a little more strength to this actual lightning we'll, we'll leave it out at two and then uh, the opacity will determine as it says the opacity of the core and then there's uh, the color settings for the core maybe you want to give it a, a color usually you would uh, use a brighter color because it's a hot bright light source and the glow setting it determines the glow it comes with its own glow you could apply another glow on top within after effects and um let's give this a brighter color maybe like this would look more like electricity maybe and that's uh for the for the glow settings and then you have these this forking and then you can add a little more detail much uh, much more branches uh, branches to to this effect and as you can see um you'll get a lot more detail with it let's let's uh, say 25 and what about the animation um what about animating this effect and that's a, a conductivity state set a keyframe and when we just open up the keyframe here and then move it over a little bit and then uh, slide this value over as you can see now it's now we're talking now it's doing this electricity effect and 
if you want to duplicate that, you might be thinking, okay, I'm going to duplicate the effect, but that's not doing anything. Um, you have to duplicate that, that solid layer. And within that solid layer, I um, duplicate, by the way, is control a D. It will duplicate the selected layer. And within that layer, you can then move over this origin and the endpoint right here. And then you will have another effect. Of course, you might want to tweak these settings a little bit, a little offset um, and, and the, change the forking a little bit. So you, you have some variation. So it's not exactly the same, but that's basically how, how you would do it. And if I had more time, uh, um, of course, for a daily tutorial, it's a little complicated to do. But this these highlights here, as you can see, I've, uh, I did those, I added those in, in Photoshop. I would put that on a separate layer and then make it flicker according to the motion of of this lightning effect just uh, to to um, support that effect a little more and as i said of course you can do that with with um with a video this is just a static image but if you had a video you would track those fingertips or whatever you want to apply this effect to and um then take it from there these these values of course origin for instance uh, can be can be animated let's Let's set a keyframe here and then set another keyframe. Hang on, origin, set another keyframe there. And as you can see, this is moving over, right? So if, if I had a video and wanted to add this effect, like, um, I don't know, like a, uh, a superpower of, 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 a, of a superhero, um, that's how you would actually do it. And that's basically it. It's very simple. Um, as, it, as you've seen, once you apply it, it comes with um, perfect default settings. And um, if you tweak those other settings, it looks like electricity or lightning lightning um, right away. And um, if you play around with some more details, add some light flickering, of course, you always want to take into account that it's illuminating the environment, the talent, the foreground, the background to support this effect a little more. And then you've got yourself um, a perfect lightning and electricity effect all right let's um announce the winner of yesterday's gift card and the winner is loyal panda congratulations loyal panda great username <laughs> love it and i did double check it's it's uh, it's not a, a new account not, not a new profile <laughs> uh, a couple of users pointed out that somebody some people are uh, creating new accounts to to increase their chances to win of course, it's not a cool thing to do, but Loyal Panda, you're safe. You've got yourself a $50 gift card. Make sure I can contact you somehow so you can give me your email address and send you that gift card. If you did not win, don't be sad. You get another chance tomorrow. We'll uh, repeat that over and over again until the end of November. All right, so much for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it informative. Please consider subscribing. Hit that bell to not miss any new tutorials and a chance for the next giveaway and i'll see you tomorrow